Okay, this is the fourth or fifth time I've done this video. I, I've got to nail it. <laughs> I've got to nail it. Um, I keep redoing this because I keep either making the videos too long or just screwing up. So I'll skip over this morning because I actually don't remember this morning because everything that I did from about 11.30 onwards just made me forget about 11.30 before. So I, I don't know why, it just, I, I'm just struggling to remember this morning. But, uh, long story short, I'm not going to repeat myself again, this is the fourth, fifth time I've tried to do this video. It's, it's just a day I can't forget. This is a forgettable, unforget. This is one of them days I'm just so happy and I'm just so proud of myself and today was a good day. Today was, every day is a good day, but today was just phenomenal. It was one of them days I wish I always remember. You know, it's a forgettable, unforgettable day. Forgettable, it... The forgettable, it was an unforgettable day, but I'll forget it. Forgettable one, whatever. It's a forgettable, unforgettable day, or unforgettable, forgettable day. Anyway, now the one minute of me just jeering on this over. So I got to the dance, and I thought it was just a traditional RSL or club dance, just nothing fancy. Then, as soon as I got there, I realised it wasn't a dance. It's Anzac Day, idiot. So this was a big Anzac Day dance, and I didn't realise what I was in for, but they had swing, and then rock and roll, but their swing was like three and a half hours of dancing, and the rock and roll was like three and a half hours of dancing, although I don't really call it rock and roll, that's 50s and 60s, this was more like generic rock and roll, but they did have classics, but they're not 50s and 60s. Anyway, now that's over. I danced with a group of swingers. I'm going to call them swingers. That sounds bad, but they're this, this swing dancers, so swingers. So I danced with a couple of ladies, and then in between dancing with that group, I didn't want to dance with them all night long, so I changed it up a bit and danced with strangers. I tell you what, it was great. I love rock and roll. I really do. But everyone I dance with is old. There's 80, 70s. 65, no offense to 65 year olds. My club is an old club. But these people are young. They're 16 to 30, maybe 32 the highest. They were young, they were jiving, they were dancing, they were swinging, they were they were having a blast. And I was worried that I would ask them for a dance and the majority of them would say no. Not just the swingers, just a bunch of randoms as well. Which I'll get to, that was more rock and roll. And, um, no, I, I hardly got rejected, which is fine, because I, I get rejected all the time. People just don't want to dance with someone they don't know, or they feel like they can't dance. But no, that wasn't the case. I did feel like the first half was better, because there was more dance floor, less drunk people, and the swingers were good. They were, they were really good for, well, I mean, I can't dance swing, so... Maybe that's why I thought they were good. But I felt like they were good. And they were matching when I took over their swing to do rock and roll. Um, someone's home. Um, so, I'm going to turn off my aircon. It's just because... Whatever. Um, what was I on about? Oh no, I forgot. Oh, I got distracted. <laughs> Shit. Okay, okay. Let's just... I'm not restarting the video. I danced with swingers and non-swingers. Just normal people on the dance floor. And I loved it. I danced with, let's just say, in the swinging portion of it, five to seven swingers and maybe five normal people so maybe ten ten plus and that's quite a bit you're dancing it's quite a bit of work it's a good workout you you also at the same time with the non-swinger people and the swingers i'm the male i'm in charge so if i screw up they screw up so you got to be firm you got to show them what to do and since they don't rock and roll you know so, look, long story short, I had a blast, and the most fun I've had is with the people that don't know how to dance. The, this is more rock and roll when, when it was later, but 
There is nothing more satisfying than watching a woman just just laugh and smile when when they can dance. Like there's three people that stick out to me. I don't remember one of them, so there's two. <laughs> there was a blonde, a um How's that music called? They play the bagpipes. Um, there was a bagpipe lady and someone else. And we'll skip the bagpipe lady for now. The the, the other lady. Uh, I'm going to make this a short 10 minute video. And then I'll upload a 20 minute video in case my family want to watch a 20 minute video. And she said, okay, yeah, I'll dance with you. Why not? And I've skipped most of today. If you want to watch the whole video, that's a 20 minute one. It's probably going to drag on. But, but it's... A whole, just a whole day, I did a whole day video. But anyway, let's just skip a bit. This woman I danced with, young, blonde, pretty tall, so I struggled, I think. I think that was the dance. She said, yeah, let's dance. I walked up to her, just, she was with a bunch of these army brats and stuff. Hey, you want to dance? I dance rock and roll, you want to dance? Yeah, okay, let's, let's try, you know. And then she usually says, I don't know how to dance, or I don't know how to dance rock and roll. That's fine, I'll show you. We really got into it really well. Like, I was doing really good, and she was following my move steps, whatever you want to call them, really well. And towards the end of the song, we were doing great. And from the start, where you could see she was nervous, towards the end, where you could see she was really enjoying herself. And not only that, she, she was just smiling happy enjoying it and all her friends were watching her and cheering her on and egging her on and saying how good she was dancing you know it's that satisfaction you know not only did i prove to her she can dance and she had a blast for three minutes of her night everyone else watching her was congratulating her because she was doing so well uh, it's just this 50s and 60s dancing just makes people so happy. You don't need any alcohol, nothing. And it is why I love it. There has been so many times, which I don't really remember, obviously. I do remember a few highlights, I guess. Especially I watch these videos, so that refreshes me. But you bring up a woman who doesn't know how to dance, and they're the most satisfying people to dance with. Dancing with people at a club, I love to do it. But... Either I'm not on their level, or I feel like, I don't know, I feel like, like, like this that pressure that I can do better, or that I'm not swinging her hard enough or high enough, you know what I mean? But people that don't know how to dance, they love it. Like, there was this Indian woman who definitely didn't know how to dance. She, she, she danced with me twice, so she did enjoy it. But her arms are very floppy, she wasn't very comfortable. She was comfortable dancing with me, without a doubt. But you could see she just, you know, had two left feet. But I danced with her twice, and she loved it. And even though she did screw up a few times, and we just laughed it off, and, you know, if I'm good, I can fix the mistakes. That's what the male rock and roll dancer can do. Um, she was the hardest one to dance with, but at the end, she loved it. She absolutely had a blast. She was smiling. Her friend recorded her dancing with me. The fact that she was so happy, even though we definitely needed a few more dancers to dance like I did with the other blonde Sheila, she was so happy that she was dancing. And people noticed I was... I was definitely traveling person to person, asking different women out, different ages, different women, different heights. I had three people ask me to dance, so that was good. But um, people were noticing, at the end of the night, some bloke came up to me and was like, I saw you dancing with everyone, like, like not none of I danced from like 11.30 to pretty much 9.30, that's 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it's like, uh, my maths isn't that good. It's a long time. <laughs> One thing I struggle with. Um, it, it's just 
the 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 feeling, the emotion of getting people to dance, especially people who say they can't dance, is just amazing. And then to top the night off, I had a really good chat to three girls about my life, about dancing, about them, about what they do, and that was a great finale for tonight. I'll keep it short and simple. Uh, this video is already 10 minutes, that's where I'll stop it. But um, they might have my YouTube channel now, maybe. So if you want to watch the whole video, it's a 20 minute one. It's made more for people who want to watch a 20 minute conversation about myself. But um, 10 minute one summing it up. Sort of, not really. But, I don't know. I'm going to leave the 20 minute video up there, it's a bit bad. But I'm going to put this short 10 minute video up here. 10 minutes is not short. <laughs> um, but, long story short. The group of three girls and the one bloke I ended up hanging out with towards the end of the night, they were the reason why I stayed. I was probably going to leave at some point, but they were nice, they were friendly, they were good. I didn't even dance with any of them, I don't think so. But they were just so friendly and thank you. I definitely owe my night to you, I probably would have knocked off around 6.30, 7.30, but I stayed till 9.30. Bye.